Hello friends, welcome to Oracle AI Database 26 AI New Feature Video Series. In this video, we are going to learn about the usage of group by all keyword introduced from 23.9 version. So before getting into the actual example and demo from 23.9, I just want to quickly show you an example to understand the usage of group by class. So whenever we use an aggregate function, something like this, we have to use all the column that is specified as part of the select class in the group by class for aggregation. So this is how we used to follow until 23.9 version. Suppose any column we specify as part of the select statement, if you are not specifying as part of this group by class, something like this, then we will get an error. Suppose the same example, if you try to rewrite without specifying the job column as part of this group by class, then we will get an error call, not a group by expression. That means it is mandatory to specify all the columns as part of the select statement in the group by class. However, from 23.9, we don't have to write all the column. Instead of that, we can simply specify a keyword called all. So before I show you an example or demo from 23.9 database, let me quickly take you through the documentation from Oracle. So here is the documentation. And this feature that is grouped by all feature is introduced from 23.9. Let's quickly go through this documentation and then we'll just get into the demo. In SQL queries with complex select list that contain aggregation function, the new group by class eliminates the need to put all non-aggregated column in the group by class. That is, instead of specifying all the columns as part of the group by class, we can simply specify the all keyword which will replace all the columns, whatever we write as part of the select class into the group by class. Let me quickly show you an example in the database. So in the left side of the window, I have connected to Oracle 23.4 version. In the right side of the window, I have connected to Oracle 23.9 version because I just want to show you the behavior in the old version as well as in the new version. Let me first show you the actual query. So here is the actual query, which is trying to find the total salary department wise, job wise. As expected, it is printing the total salary grouped by department and job. Now let me just copy the same query and let me try to run against 23.9 DB. Of course it will work. Now the new feature is all about instead of specifying, suppose if you didn't specify any one of the column, as I already told, it will throw you an error saying that not the group by expression. So instead of that, what we can do is we can simply specify group by all keyword. Let me execute this statement now. Now you can see instead of specifying the group by followed by the list of column, we simply specified the group by all keyword, which does exactly the same work which was done by the earlier group by class. In fact, this is the new feature introduced from 23.9 version onwards. However, this will not work in the earlier version, of course, because this is introduced from uh, 23.9. Obviously, this will not work in the previous version. Just I want to show you the behavior in the previous version. So here is the quick summary of learning. As I told, until 23.9 version, we have to use the group by followed by all the column. From 23.9 version onwards, instead of specifying all the column, we can simply specify the group by all keyword. And this feature will be very, very helpful whenever we try to write these type of select statement as part of the dynamic query. We don't have to specify all the columns in the group by class. Instead, we can just hard code group by all class. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can drop to the mail ID or you can drop in the comment section. Thanks a lot.